What's up everybody, it's AJ with eatshow.com. Today we're gonna be checking out this half and half grill from Greystone. So it's gonna be half griddle, half grill. So it's gonna be awesome to take with you. That way if you wanna prepare breakfast, you can do it on the griddle side, or if you wanna grill some steaks or burgers in the evening, you can use this side. The good thing about it is it's cast iron on both sides, so it's really high quality. It's gonna be great to cook on. Let's check it out. You can see the griddle side and the grill side. I like that it's side by side that way. You don't have to switch anything around compared to the other one we worked with. There's another Greystone one that was a grill on the bottom and you would set the griddle on top to actually use it. That was nice. You got a little extra room, but the thing that I really like about this one is that both parts of this are cast iron. So I really like cooking on that. I think that's gonna just make everything taste better. So I prefer that I have the cast iron griddle or grill and griddle whenever I need them. Now. Like I said, I said you got a little bit more room out of that other one. Let's go ahead and measure the griddle and see how much room we actually have to work with. So from side to side, we're gonna go inside to inside. It's around 11 and a half inches. And from front to back, it's right there at 16 inches. So they're gonna both be the same. So that's how much space you have on each one. Some of the things you might notice is the splash guard right here on the side. That just keeps anything, if it's popping or anything, it's gonna just keep that on the inside and not shoot out to the out. But it also, when not in use, easily just folds in. So that way, if you need to set it in a compartment that might not be tall enough, you can get that down and take down some of that height. If we come around to the front, you can see this is where all the grease and gunk are gonna go, down in that hole on the griddle. And then this is the grease trap here. You can take that and get rid of it. And then on the bottom, for the whole thing, you got this grease trap here too. So you can slide this out. Seems like it's caught on that side. There we go. You can slide that out, dispose of that and clean it. And that's gonna cover overall, but it also acts as a shield for the heat. So when the heat's coming down, like we got this on the plastic table, you don't have to worry about it melting the plastic table. It's gonna block that heat, to make sure it doesn't transfer onto the table. Around back, you can see the vents. Just a warning, this is where the heat's gonna come out. So I wouldn't point it towards your rig or people, probably flip it the other way, point it away from you, that way the heat's not going against your rig or bothering anybody. Down here, you have the attachment point for the propane. I will say make sure you get the correct hose for the grill and your rig, that way you can hook it up because it does not come with the hose. Look at the front here, you can see the instructions on how to operate are right here on the side. The knobs I like, they're nice and big. They got this grip around the outside, so it's easy to turn them. The other thing is that this thing's actually got some weight to it, so actually turning the knob doesn't push the whole thing back. On some of the other ones, they're really light, so when you go to push this in, you kind of push the whole grill back. This is heavy enough to where you can actually do that, and it's not a problem. So you can also work these all individually, so if you only want to use the grill, you can just use this one. You don't have to fire them all up, saving you on some propane. Now let's go ahead and fire it up. It's gonna push in on it. Set over there. That's gonna let the gas flow for just a little bit and then I'll turn it and you'll hear a click and that'll be the igniter that should ignite it up. And just like that, it's running. Overall, I was pretty impressed with the grill. You know, going into it, when I worked with a few of the other Greystone ones, I didn't like the fact that it was half grill and half griddle. I thought that was kind of wasted space, but after working with this one, I kind of like this better. I don't like switching out that other part to use the griddle. The griddle's right here installed. And like I said earlier, I just prefer cooking on cast iron. So I think this is just gonna work overall a lot better. Well, thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.